Maria is 21 years old. Her father is a well-known military general and her mother died when she was 14. The patient was hospitalized by her husband with whom she married at 16 years of age. She was raped by her father and she demonstrates a lack of sensibility and reaction. She has a tendency for being manipulated and she is very unsocial. Right now, the patient is controlled because of the medication. Maria is not insane. Maria has no sexual desire and she suffers from psychotic disorder and schizophrenia. Maria is 26 years old, literary editor and also writer. One of her volumes of poetry has been banned as erotic. She was also an ardent feminist. Held that women were generally victimized by the society. But in addition, she had very specific aggressors, men, not just any men, but the closest to them, the fathers, brothers, husbands, and sons in her life. Divorced, she has a 10-year-old son. The child is being brought up by the father. Maria is not insane. She was diagnosed with hysteria and sexual disorder. She tried to commit suicide. Maria is 29 years old. She has been inside of an isolation room for the past two years. When the patient arrived to the hospital, her eyes were staring into space. She didn't have any reaction. Right now, her condition is stable and she is being treated with medication. Marie is not insane. She has visible social disorder in sociopathy. I'm looking at all these photos. I am walking around these four walls. 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 I am
forth between those four walls with lumps of salt, Peter. Big, dark, brown stains tracking my feet from the flagstone. I walked endlessly back and forth across that floor. And even pulled over it on my hands and knees. Am I not lifting my feet with you? Partly to exhaustion, but even more than that, to the fact that it wasn't a necessary effort. When I knew every last inch of that floor got hard. In one corner. In one was corner. Was a little brazier and a battered cooking pot. Sessions. Required for the was the coat. Covered with a single blanket or pots. Three pair for many washings and three washings. Once Full of stains. There were a few other objects. There were a few other objects in that narrow space. And inside it, a concern and preoccupation with everything and nothing. The slow coming and going of the daylight in the courtyard outside. A narrow space too. With a bucket of dirty water. And a plant of wings.
lovers for, for so many months. Taking our pleasure in a bed to the, to the point of madness. Sinking our teeth into sexual enjoyment to the point of wisdom. <laughs> told me you're beautiful. Running his hands down my body, lying naked and exposed on the bed. You're beautiful. He told me again, following the curve of my breast with his fingers, noticing my thin lips beneath his and the acid, who found revulsion in my eyes. I like your hair. I like your good gift belly, your thin hips, your ties, your smell, your tongue, your legs. I like it that you feel revulsion for me, but still come to bed with me. He leaned down then, running his mouth over me as he was trying to breathe me in, leaving a wet scar of saliva of my body. His flaccid body graciously attempted to take Anna's and Finn's inside of that, of the woman who was struggling. Rigid and motionless, but struggling nonetheless. I thought I'm going crazy. I thought I'm going crazy. I thought I'm going I never 
ever cry. I don't know what it means to cry. What do you do when you feel bad? Sad. By the way, masturbation is a gymnastic exercise for everybody in a bed. Have you ever tried this? Have you? That's why sometimes words are unnecessary. 
you right now. I'm going to invent the word. My father told me. My father told me.
your mother told you as she walked to the front door. You're a dirty whore. Precious baby, take her away from me. <coughs> because of my reputation and lifestyle that I had before. And I could not continue to live like this. <coughs> and I woke up one day. I came to his bed. I looked at his little bed. His little words, his portrait. I, I felt his smell, but he was not there anymore. And I could not continue living like this. And I sat on his little bed and I wrote a letter to his father. It's enough to feel dead. I was dead. After that, the easier to know. Woman was God's second mistake. And what was the first? Man. It's funny that we have history, his story. It's time to write a new story. Her story. I ask, is a woman taken and adultery still stolen? Two deaths today in Afghanistan and in Saudi Arabia? I say, it's 
the adulterous man also likely to be stoned to death in Afghanistan and Saudi Arabia? I ask, girls, how many Marias must still be brought back to life? How many of us are there still living, who are being put to the test, having their minds up, made weak and fragile, through the workings of law, the social property,
how that women were generally victimized by society, but in addition, they had very specific aggressors. Men, not just any men, but those closest to them, the fathers, brothers, husbands, and sons in their lives. Divorced, she has a 13-year-old son. The child was being brought up by the father. She tried to commit suicide, and she was inside of an isolation room in her house during the last two years. When the patient arrived in the hospital, her eyes stared into space. She didn't have any reaction. Right now, her condition is stable, and she is being treated with medications. She was diagnosed with psychotic disorder, which is a mild form of bipolar disorder, in which a person has mood swings over a period of years that go from mild depression to emotional highs. Maria is not insane.